After we left Carnarvon Gorge, we headed up to Springshaw and pulled up and camped at a free camp just on the north side. We then headed into town, checked out the info centre and they had this really cool working windmill which was part of a water um, installation so it was cool for the kids to see how it actually worked to help pump up the water. Really cool windmill. Really cool windmill but everyone moves. So Guess I let my feelings take control. Guess I let my demon take the wheel. Used to think that we be wrong. I can't believe that it was real. Ruben, where are we? Uh, a lookout. Where are we standing? What's special about this lookout? A, a volcano. Mm. Do you know anything else about the volcano, Elliot? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from your brother, it's very <laughs> silly. It's a good lookout. Yes. Fred's Gorge. That was my response. Oh my god, that's an echidna! <laughs> On the camera. <laughs> Morning. Just what? pulled into Lake Baraboon, just outside of Emerald. Uh, heading to Barky today, guys. So, yeah, give you guys a look at this. Yeah, she's a big dam. Tab's going to do her first gate of the Hello. trip. Hey Rubes. Hi. Elliot. Hi. Yeah, so we're just on the other side of Barky, Barkulden, so um, yeah, on a property there, and Dunblane. We so we've got the one directions one. and yeah, we're going to camp near Windmill tonight. And Dad, uh, and, and everyone watching this video, That was the first gate. First gate? Great. Are you going to leave me behind? No. It's our campsite. I 
reckon Ruben's going to touch that electric fence, see? Eh? We don't know. This is amazing. Pretty good. He hasn't moved on. You kids are crazy. On the next day, we checked the sheep water troughs. Have they come back? You can see one head of the birdies. Yeah, only one coming out. Okay. Well, you think it's dead? No, one coming out of the egg. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I might have a turn, eh? Hey? The little weaver's nest over in that tree. Girl, that body's so tight. Gonna be a long night. Me like it. Baby, me no chaser. Nothing can replace us. Farmer Dave okay. has let us press yeah. the wool oh, oh, into a bale. I can never find nobody like it. So someone can press the green button. I'm in. Me. Yeah, you want that? All right, step away now. Someone else can push that one there. Hey. We'll move the figure next, right? Fun boys? What? Having fun? Yeah. Afternoon. Just about to uh, enjoy a sunset at Dunblane here. But um, yeah, dinner we've got some beef stew on the go, so I'll show you that now. <clears throat> Bubbling away there. The little secret thing we do with our um, beef stew and um, their good wife she's been doing it inside I'll take you in have a look the chin yeah. what do we got hun um, dumplings with mozzarella stuffed inside so mozzarella stuffed dumplings mm. we're gonna pop them in the camp oven and they'll be delicious yep. show you that soon in they go <laughs> yeah. Yum yum. Look, they've goldened up nicely. Delicious. Yum. We'll serve everyone up. That could be rubes. That's mine, mate. What do you think, hon? Okay, first light. Try not to burn myself. It's very hot, which is very nice. <laughs> Hopefully the kids like it.
left a billy goat camping at Dumblane and it was absolutely amazing. Amazing, yes, it was perfect. We had our own hot um, artesian hot bath, our own beautiful windmill. I think it was the pick of the site, so far from the highway. Um, what else? Oh, the north no, sky no, last no. night was just lit up. It was beautiful, sitting by the fire, just watching the sky. The Milky Way was a lot. Yeah. Not sure if we got a photo, but we'll see. We'll see. And um, yeah, and then also the wildlife I think on that side was so good. Like, you know, we had two emus around every night, both nights. Um, obviously lots of cattle, goat, sheep, um, bird, like yeah, heaps of stuff, bird life, all that kind of stuff. Tiny little birds that are so tiny we could never see them, but we knew they were there. Um, yeah, but it was perfect. Really, really nice place. It was really good. Definitely worth the stay, guys. And uh, David, the host, the farmer, was really good. Really good with the kids, get, getting them involved with stuff. It was great. Really informative about the uh, the sheep side yeah. of things that he's got going on. So, yeah. you know, directly, you know, wool commodity. So, yeah, yeah, no, it was really interesting learning about it all. But, yeah. I reckon Dunblane, well, if we were coming through here again, I reckon it would definitely be on our list to come back and again to stay out. But there you go. Definitely. Right, guys. Any, anything else, boys, you want to add about the campsite? The campsite was so peaceful because we didn't have any danger. Yeah, that is true. That is very true, really. Anything from you, Ruben? No. Nah. No, nah, what a surprise. Okay, peace out, guys. Catch you. If you like to follow along Let's Adventure 24-7, please hit that like and subscribe button.